Hello out there everyone. I hope uh, your day is going wonderfully uh, today. Uh, this time I have a uh, Baxter Stockman. You guys could see this is a Super 7 Ultimate uh, action figure. Uh, one of my latest uh, figures that I got uh, for sale a while back during the holidays and uh, Christmas of 2022. Uh, I think I got this for around 27 bucks. So again, for me, that was a good price. It was worthwhile at that point. So I've already taken it out of this standard cardboard container that all these figures come in. So um, again, you get the purple motif, uh, this being, I guess, considered a villain. There's the ultimate uh, logo. I love this embossed uh, thing that they always add in for older figures with the mousers on the side. Again, Baxter Stockman there logo in the back with that awesome purple um and there it is baxter stockman um obviously this is as i used to call him the fly guy <clears throat> but again i love this uh blue or teal that they've used here and uh again um not one of my favorite guys but uh again i used to have the original figure of this uh, i'm glad that he comes with a mouser so that's pretty cool um and he, but he looks pretty big at least in comparison to the ogs and again i know this is the motif with this line is sort of take the originals and just kind of uh blow up the proportions but it still looks uh, i think it looks awesome but i'll get this open we'll get back to the video uh after that and see uh how this thing sort of uh makes out as you guys could see finally got a uh, baxter stockman there out of the packaging awesome uh little figure but before we do the figure let's do the accessories and what you do get in the box which the first thing would be is this uh, weapon rack again trying to emulate that uh the older toys including these and you get the fly sweater his gun uh, and that's uh pretty much it just to get those two things i don't usually use these so this will go in the box but it's something they include uh you know if that's something you want to display with the figure you get uh three pairs of hands you get a couple of uh closed fists some nice detailing there with the ring you get another pair of hands uh that's actually uh reaching out sort of you can see it here we're trying to grasp and you get a pair of uh, hands that could be used to hold weapons which are pretty similar to the ones he already uh comes with so you get three pairs you get his fly swatter which is really cool i completely forgotten that this guy uh, comes with his weapon you could see the little turtle there smashed on this thing so that's a little cool weapon he can hold and uh, the main thing and um so happy that this figure comes with a mouser i love this thing i don't recall if the original came with a mouser as well i don't think i ever had one so this is really cool the detailing's done really well and he does it is articulated so you could turn his head um, the legs also move uh, just side to side. It would have been cool if they maybe included some kind of ball joint here. Uh, but as an accessory, I think it's it's done really well. You can see the foot there. You can see the red on the visor. Um, blue, black, pretty much there. And the mouth uh, opens and closes. So that's, that's really cool. Uh, again, I wish they would have included some additional articulation, like a ball joint on the legs and maybe even the neck so his head can look up and down. But this is not bad because it is an accessory for um, the good old Dr. Baxter Stockman there. Uh, now, on to the main figure itself. I really do lo love uh, this figure. I love the detailing. Again, this is pretty much the original toy, just scaled up and with um, additional like articulation points. But um, the paint's done really well. Again, I love the the eyes, the brown. Nothing, there's no paint spill anywhere or over spray or over painting. You can see the blue there. You can see the mouth and the teeth. Uh, the hair, again, really cool. Bring you up close, nice and orange, I guess. It's really cool. You could see there his bow tie on his neck. You see then the, the veins and the purple... I love this detail here of the syringe uh, and then go at the bottom, you know, the needle going through his pocket. This whole section of the coat's made out of um, soft uh, rubber, so it's uh, pliable. And then you see the pants, um, which are done in this, I guess, teal 
are kind of green. And the purple, again, some nice detailing there in the paint, the veins, uh, which is really cool. You see the same thing going with his extra, his fly arms here. And then the wings uh, and this nice gray with the purple detailing there. And then the texture of the lines is pretty cool. The other cool aspect, as I said, is this is pretty much the original figure, but um, with additional articulation. So the wings uh, move as well. Uh, and in addition to rotating, you can move them up and down. So you could put those any way you want. Uh, the extra arms here, uh, there's uh, joints there. I don't know if you could see that. So you can move that in and out and also uh, rotate them if that's your thing. There's a ball joint here on this section here, that I guess, which would be the elbow. And there's also a ball joint here on the, the hand or the wrist section. And those can also turn around. So again, you can get a lot of articulation with these hands. Uh, same thing here with his actual uh, arms, like the wrists move. These are also, the hands are also on a, there's a joint here. You can move them up and down. You can rotate them. You can see it's got elbow, uh, shoulder. So you can move stuff around. Uh, the cool thing that I forgot, and I don't recall if the original figure had this, uh, was the uh, waist articulation. So you can fully rotate him around. Uh, he just can't look. He, just, he has no app crunch, so he can't look up and down. The head can turn fully, so that's really cool. But you can't, again, move this. Uh, you can move it up and down slightly. Um, and then, again, you've got articulation here on the legs and the hips. You can pretty much extend his leg that much. So I think it'll look really cool maybe in on a flying pose. If you can get a flying stand for this guy. He's got joint knees, uh, knees at the, uh, sorry, joints in the knee. Here's got his ankle joints, so you can turn that much, and you can also turn the feet fully around. So I do appreciate, again, that this is pretty much the original uh, toy just scaled up. I love the size, and with the additional articulation, it looks really cool. You guys can see his gun. This is another accessory that he came with. There he's holding it. Uh, some minuses on my end, it would be that, again, similar to Bebop and Rocksteady, uh, trying to put these weapons in his hands um, was a little stiff. It was a little easier than Bebop and Rocksteady, but you still had to really fold these uh, fingers out and then get the weapon in there. So it was a bit of a pain. The other thing, too, is the joints. So the joints here on the shoulders are really tight, which, in all honesty, I guess I don't mind too much. I'd rather tight joints than loose ones. Uh, but then it's a shame that then the leg joints here are a little loose and for a guy uh, That's a bit top heavy, you know with the wings and the arms you have to play around with it so that he doesn't uh, Sort of fall back or fall in his face uh, But once you get him standing he'll stand in place uh, Overall though, I do like this figure uh, so we'll do some uh, quick comparisons before we close so we'll put him here hopefully he doesn't fall back and we'll put the mouse right here and to start us off you know what I had a I just recently did a review on Tarn again not related at all but if anyone's interested what a transformer looks like in scale to Baxter Stockman here there you go that's an awesome little transformer figure by the way uh, then moving on to Turtles, here he is next to the OG uh, Raphael, so you guys can see the size difference of how massive this guy is. Here he is next to uh, Bandai, uh, I think this is Tamash Tamashi Nation's uh, Turtles, really cool, and I think that could fit in really well. We'll move Raph out of the way. Here's, here he is next to... Super 7, again, Ultimates, this is from the same line. These two are line mates, I guess. Um, Leonardo, so you guys can see. And again, I think this could fit in really well scale-wise. We just wanted to show that. So we'll move them out of the way. Here he is next to uh, Metalhead. Really cool. You guys can see them there together. And my favorite one so far is Slash. Uh, I love the way how big and, and substantial that slash feels, uh, but it's awesome 
again just want to show the size there and then lastly to close things out here he, here he is next to rock steady and hopefully he won't fall and bebop so there you go um again i love how massive these things are i love uh that they've essentially taken the original toy and just made it bigger and added that articulation obviously some minus points for the loose joints on the legs which plagues uh, a lot of the other figures in this line but uh for the fact that i got this on sale i'm pretty happy with it i, I think for the i ended up paying i think 29 or, or 30 dollars for this figure so i think at that price i can definitely sort of uh justify getting this figure um i don't know if i would have been so happy if I paid 50 and I got a figure with a bunch of uh, loose joints. But uh, I think in this case, uh, I am happy with it. But anyway, thank you so much. If you made it to the end, uh, let me know. You know, If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, but again, thank you for spending your very valuable time with me. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Be nice to yourself. Be nice to each other. Um, and I will see you next time. Take care.